Roswell Flight Test Crew here at NAB 2015. Be sure to subscribe so you can follow along with us here at the show. And right now I'm talking to Donald Scott, the CEO of DSLR Pros and Tazy Robotics. How you doing? Good. Pleasure to see you again today. I mean, the last time we saw each other was last year, right? That's right. We, we need to get together a little more often, I think. Absolutely. Definitely. For sure. <laughs> and you've got something incredibly slick looking here. And I just have to point this out. You've got it here in a tank full of water. I mean, look at this. So tell me about this thing. You could actually crash this thing from 100 feet up. It'll hit the water, submerge for maybe three feet, pop back up. It's actually buoyant. And then you can actually take off from the water. It lands and takes off from the water. Cool. We have a patent on the unique design, the manufacturing process. It'll be ready in about four months with analog, about another nine months with the total digital uh, downlink, 1080p, 60 frames per second, 25 millisecond latency at 1,000 meters or a kilometer. It's got LiDAR and optical flow. It's a pretty cool system. We custom design. All the boards on the inside, it's got a smart battery. A patent is actually on the unique manufacturing process. A lid opens up, the hatch will reveal a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery, smart battery, which you can take out and plug in and charge separately and look at, it uh, has a fuel gauge on it. It will have a three axis waterproof gimbal with the GoPro Hero 4, specially modified case so we can pull HDMI data off the gimbal up into the craft We've separated all the uh, electronics and stabilization electronics PCB boards from the gimbal, moved it inside the drone itself. Our engineers are ex-Lockheed Martin missile engineers, so they're pretty clever at designing some really interesting new products. The motors will be custom. They'll have different uh, waterproof connectors on the bottom of the motors. Our specialized ESCs that we've developed in-house and programmed, they're actually comp they're thermal compensated. They're, they do braking. They're really efficient. They're about 15% more efficient than standard ESCs on the market. And I'm going to show you another drone that we have. This was a pretty, pretty cool drone right here. We have different types. Matter of fact, we will have the only and first thermal camera, dual EOIR sensor payload on a three-axis gimbal on a waterproof craft. So imagine if you're a search and rescue, doing some type of search and rescue in inclement weather. You can take it out of your backpack, drop it on the lake, take off, look for a missing person, or if it's raining outside, no, rain is not going to stop you. Okay, so what are we looking at here? This is our big heavy lift um, Titan X8. This is the only craft that we know of, if you find something else, let me know, that can carry that RED camera for 20 minutes of flight time easily. Specially designed, if you look at this board right here, it's actually, the copper's actually grown onto the board. It's only made in the U.S. This can handle 300 amps, right? So we're actually working on a 12S system that'll lift over 120 pounds of payload with our new uh, unibody design. We have a patent, a unique patent, on a unibody frame that distributes the load across a single block of aluminum that's machined to provide, I can't show this on camera, I'm not gonna tilt it your way, but uh, the weight is actually distributed across the body itself uh, to ensure that it can you know, hold a heavy payload really rigidly. You would not believe how light this thing is. I mean, it, it's like paper how light this thing is. So this is a, a carbon, it's a composite material made of carbon fiber and a Nomex honeycomb core. You put this together in this, in this particular fashion, it creates a very rigid, strong frame, again, that's rated to carry over 120 pounds of payload. We have special Teflon-coated Teflon inserts that go inside these arms. The arms are actually separated through this Teflon. We have a special cam locking mechanism. The arms don't come out all the way. They pop out and actually fold down. They compact, they fold up into that little case right behind you there, if you take a look at that. We have two GPS antennas that we design. They use the U-Blocks antenna systems. They're, we use active pre-amplified antennas to ensure that you have adequate uh, GPS signal in high attenuation environments. It'll be water resistant. We have a special gasket on each of these. This will have LiDAR and optical flow boom. It'll be the only heavy lift craft that can carry a RED camera, Ari Alexa, any camera you want to put on a Ronin on that craft right there for 20 minutes plus. If you put a smaller gimbal like there, you're going to be flying much longer. Now this is two independent GPSs, so the computer is taking the average to get you a really precise position hold, is that right? Correct. Uh, if we're using the new Pixhawk, yeah, there's going to be a feature for that as well. Well, um, when do you expect the, the big boy to come out here? About 45 days, we'll, you'll be able to order. You can pre-order now from our website, on DSLRPros.com. One thing I wanted to mention, our ESCs are specially designed ESCs. They're temperature compensated, and they do braking as well, too. So they're custom designed. It's our code, all in-house. Very sophisticated stuff. Well, Donald, thank you so much. It's always fun to check up with you guys, see what you're up to, because you're, you're always coming out with neat stuff. Absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. And from NAB 2015, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off.